Jit, 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 jit. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy is back. I done did it again. Listen, guys, I want you guys to download this. This is my prerequisite to all my projects from now on. I started it last year. Now there's the 2018 version, you know, new modern, webpack tool, the whole shebang. Basically, I built it so you guys could just focus on coding and stop focusing on oh my god how do i set up you know webpack how do i set up go how do i set up all this stuff but for now i just want you guys to worry about the code because this is the prerequisite to everything all right guys so all you have to do is you go to github.com slash codingface.com right just like that and then you go starter dash kit dash 2018 or if you just decide to come here and you're like, okay, let me just go to the squad. Let me see what Joe got, All right? We got the starter kit. We got Rocky Stack, Community, Rocky Documentation, right? So we click on the starter kit. Boom, now we're here, right? Okay, so this is how you do this, guys. Basically, you're going to come in. Make sure you have Node.js, right, installed in your computer. You install Yarn, right? Download Atom, which is this. Right, this beautiful text editor, right? Okay, and then from there you're gonna install all the atom packages that are on. So you're gonna make sure you download this project, right? So you either can clone it or download it. So click here, download the zip, right? Start a kit. Once this thing downloads, you could name it to whatever you want. You could name it to Vape Store. You can name it to, you know, whatever, right? Whatever project I'm actually working on or whatever project you're actually working on, right? So, cool. For me right now, I named it the Babe Store, right? So, this is how it is. This is how the folder looks, all right? So, we have all, all the files here, right? Let's get this party popping. Okay, so, after everything is installed, you run this. Whoa, you copy this. You run this here, right? This is gonna install all the packages that I have. And then from there, you're gonna be sweet, right? Okay, so I just fast forward through this whole thing. Now, make sure you install all the packages from Node.js, right? So how you do that? Just run Yarn, and that's gonna install everything, right? I already installed it, so should be done right okay now let's jump on to how to start the server you say yarn watch and you should be good you should be seeing the starter kit all right guys that's the prerequisite make sure you follow the steps it's pretty simple any problems you might have send me a message through the comments or whatever or even my email wherever you want to send it to me all right guys i'll see you in a little bit all right guys so you probably asking yourself why the hell should i care about this thing why would i want to install this why would i take my time to install this prerequisite all right guys listen you're gonna get live reload you're gonna get compiled css well sass right and then compile es6 and react or any other framework you might want to be using so you're getting everything in one shot so you're gonna be great all right so let's start it up like this let's test it so we're gonna say yarn run watch well yarn watch right so then from there we come in here and we're gonna say okay hey see just switched up hey looks good automatically so you don't have to go in there and start refreshing your page. You can literally now set this up like this and start coding. You can say, okay, I got my code here. I got my screen here. And I could just start coding like this. You know. Div. Test. Test is showing up, right? All right, not only do you get that, but you also get, you know, your JavaScript. This is actually a component. This whole area is actually a component from React, and you already set up for it. Everything's compiled, you see? You can come here and say, hey, my first component, 
Let's work with this. So now it should be compiling. You see, Joe's component automatically refresh, giving you the whole shebang. All right, guys. Now let's talk about CSS, which is, I think to me, this is like a lifesaver because now you could just come here and say, hey, I want to change something on my page and I want to see the change now. So you can come here and say, hey, background, purple. You see, without having to refresh, without having to do anything, it's already done for you. All right, you can comment this out, take it out. Okay, guys, we could come here and say, hey, font size, 200 pixels. But why would we do that, right? <laughs> but yeah, simple. Now, you got a whole starter kit ready for you guys, all right? So all you have to do is install it. And yeah, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. And yeah, let's get it on. All right, kids. Bow. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.